Hello, you're watching For the Love of Wisdom, and in this introduction to this channel, we're going to be looking at the question, why does philosophy matter? Consider this, you can use powerful computer software without ever knowing how to write a line of code. And you can enjoy great music without ever knowing how to compose or play it. You can use technology without ever knowing a thing about science. You can enjoy great literature or drama without ever being able to write any. You can live in a comfortable home without knowing a thing about architecture, building, plumbing, or electricity. You can hire an accountant to do your, book, to do your bookkeeping, a lawyer to defend you in court, or a doctor to heal or cure you. But there are some things you cannot depend on others to do for you. No one else can think for you. No one else can tell truth from fiction for you. No one else can decide for you how you will live your life. No one else can take responsibility for your moral decisions. No one else can make your life happy and meaningful. No one else can live your life for you. These are things that philosophy is about. Philosophy is about figuring out your place in the world. Philosophy literally means love of wisdom, and it is about searching for the wisdom you need to live the best, most meaningful life you can. It's your responsibility to do that, and no one else can do it for you. If you won't think for yourself, who will? That's why it's important to study philosophy. There are many things others can do for you, but philosophy is not one of them. For the Love of Wisdom is an educational channel about free thought, philosophy, and critical thinking. Its mission is to promote rational thinking, free inquiry, and personal happiness. Please take the responsibility to do what no one else can do for you. Make a study of rational thinking and of living the best life you can by looking into philosophy. And subscribe to For the Love of Wisdom to help you in undertaking that responsibility. The main reason I think my senses and thoughts are dependable is that the consequences of depending upon them routinely reward me for depending upon them. For example, I look both ways before crossing the street, see that no cars are coming, cross, then find that I made it across safely. That's positive feedback for depending upon my senses and judgments. Hello, I'm Dr. Fergus Donahoe and you're watching For the Love of Wisdom. Contrary to what I've said in a previous satirical video, I have never been a member of a cult. But in this video we're going to be looking at the question, what is a cult? And I'm going to begin by going over some misconceptions about what makes something a cult. Uh, one misconception of a cult is the idea that a cult is just a false religion. Some religious people have the idea that other religions, other than their own, are cults. 